All right, so yesterday we talked about George Washington Carver, right? Now we're going to talk about uh, Robert Fulton. Robert Fulton is just as important as George Washington Carver. So George Washington Carver, what did he do exactly? Murphy? What did he invent? He is an inventor. Not cotton. You're close. Kaylin? Crop rotation. Crop rotation. Yeah. Well, we all both said it at the same time, and y'all are both exactly right. Crop rotation. So Robert Fulton is a person that invented something, too. He's an innovator. Remember, an innovator is someone who makes something that hasn't been made before. He, he invented something. Uh-huh. Murphy? Um, his last name is the same as your first name. Almost. Yes, it has the first three letters of my last name and the last three letters of my last name. So Fulton. All right, so we're going to turn our attention to Seesaw because I have our activity right here. Fulton. Robert Fulton. So by based on this picture, is this person from the past? Present or future, Roy, in the past. Because normally we don't wear these kinds of clothes, right? It's very fancy. Hold on, girls. Let's go ahead and get started. So it says Robert Fulton. So it says here, Robert Fulton was born in 1765. He grew up in Pennsylvania. Robert had many skills. He liked to draw and to experiment with machines. Robert began to work as a silversmith when he was about 16 years old. He made jewelry. So as a silversmith, you heat up the metal and it turns almost to like lava. And you can shape it any way you want until it cools. So ladies, he was a jeweler. So later he opened a shop and he painted pictures of people in the shop. Robert moved to England in 1786. He worked as an artist there. He also invented a machine that cut and polished marble. So marble is made out of a huge slab of rock and they slice it in, in thin pieces and they can polish it and we use it for like countertops. We use it for floors. You know, the marble has the gray squiggly lines into it. Tables. No, not marble. So Maddox thought the same thing. So this is a different type of marble. So it also, the statues that we see in the museum are almost made out of marble too. Mm, that one's not made of marble, but you're close. It looks, yes, it's made out of copper. It just turned green, right? Yeah, because the water, the sea salt, right, in the ocean. So it says people use marble to make furniture and other goods. Sydney, did you have a question? Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. So it says, Robert moved to France. I'm waiting. I hear people talking. They're, they're going to miss something important. Mackenzie, is it part of this lesson? Hey, what is it, babe? No, he wasn't. He was born before me, way before us. I'm waiting. I hear a person talking. I can't either. All right. So it says, Robert moved to France in, in 1797. There, he invented a type of submarine. He called it the uh, Noculus. <laughs> Noculus? Nautilus. Nautilus. Not Nautilus. Nautilus. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's Landon. So thank you, Emma. All right, so it says Robert made plans for the type of steamboat. In, 18 In 1803, he steered the steamboat down the Seine, the Seine River in France. The steamboat traveled four miles per hour. That's six kilometers. So how fast do we go on the road, on the highway? 
Almost 60, 75 miles per hour. So imagine only four miles per hour. That would be really slow. Yes, super duper slow. So you had to be really patient when you're on a steamboat to travel somewhere. Mm -hmm, super slow, like a snail. So it says Robert returned to the United States in 1806 and he built steamboats that were faster and longer. These boats carried people and goods on New York's rivers. Now the boat's gonna so here's Robert's steamboat. Notice how it's different from an actual ship. Mm -hmm. It says Robert's steamboats followed schedules. People could plan when they wanted to travel. Travelers could depend on Robert's steamboat. Murphy, let's pay attention. That's not how we're supposed to sit on a carpet. So remember, Mrs. Fullington is looking for the superstar student. So it says Americans like to travel on steamboats. They wanted to travel on other rivers. Robert planned and built new steamboats to travel on the Mississippi River. So even different states had different ones. Mm -hmm. so, Robert, so Robert Fulton died in 1815. He had invented ways to use steam engines on boats. His inventions made travel easier. So what did he invent? Boats. What kind of boats? They're special kinds. Omar? He invented a submarine. A submarine. And what else did he invent? A steamboat. So it's mainly about his steamboat, right? His idea. And he got this, the, the steamboat. He got the idea of the submarine from the steamboat that he made. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Is that where he got the idea from? Maybe. I think so. You're right. I think you're right. So let's let's check. Because Miss Lindy could be wrong. So it says here, there he invented a type of steamboat called the Noculus. So it says here, Robert made plans for a type. Yeah, so you're right. He made this submarine first. You're right. Fact check. And then he made the steamboat. He got the idea from the steamboat from the submarine. That's cool. I, didn't, I thought it was the other way around. You learn something new every day. All right, so Mrs. Fullington is going to show you. Um, you don't have the assignment through Seesaw. We're going to do it on paper like we did yesterday. So y'all come and sit down and get a pencil, please.